Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I hope you all had a safe and uh, happy 4th of July, Independence Day. One thing that we here in the United States of America is so fond of because of our freedom, not only our freedom in and worshiping the one true God the way we not only were taught growing up but the way we have learned throughout the uh, 240 some plus years of our nation and the um, increase of technology have learned more about God's Word than what we knew before. Some are saying, of course these are the scoffers, are always saying that God's Word isn't true, God's Word was written by man to control man, God's Word, you know, and also they keep saying there's no God. When there is infallible truth that there is a God, His Son, Christ Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. But they don't want to believe that infallible truth. Because they're blinded by their lust. Their lust of their own power and one of the powers that uh, a lot of people adhere to is the power of the almighty the almighty dollar instead of the almighty God they want to adhere to the power of the almighty dollar you see I've been, you know, doing a lot of research about the term Almighty Dollar, which is actually a 19th century term. And, um, it was, uh, first started in the, in basically the 19th century. Is actually uh, quoted by a British writer, Ben Johnson, in 1616. Yeah, I've been doing research on this. Basically, there are people out there that think working. Of course, work, yeah, y yes, you need to work hard, but yet there are many people who are born with disabilities that cannot work as hard as somebody else. But yet, society expects them to. People who work at a workshop, for instance, they don't get paid minimum wage. They get paid piecework, unless they're doing some outside job. Then they'll get paid minimum wage, or whatever the wage is. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want to be on here too long, but there, I live on a budget because I get SSI. I budget, I pay my bills first, and then live on what is left over even when it comes to having money to fix up my mobile home or fix up my vehicle I have to budget that money accordingly and in some cases I have to ask for help I've asked uh, many churches and even the church I go to you see there was a bushing 
that is on the control arm underneath my van on the passenger side that was basically I mean it wasn't even there like it, it was rotting away and it wasn't even all there so I took it to Midas one day last year I took it to Midas one day and had it inspected and this is what they said it would cost to fix it well anyhow long story short if you want to look up that phone number I just showed here it's an old phone number I don't have that phone number anymore had to have it changed uh, because of the harassing phone calls I was receiving so if you call it you'll probably get somebody else actually <laughs> actually I honestly they got my old address and my old uh, phone number here when I lived in Newcomer's Town but I know how that's uh, beside the point <sighs> they wanted to charge for to replace the bushing actually this is the bushing not the whole control arm this is what they just wanted they wanted to take the control arm off and just replace the bushing well I bought a bushing for like ten dollars or something then I was told actually it'll be over a hundred dollars to replace that bushing so it'd be a lot simpler just to um, buy the whole control arm that has a bushing already on it not only simpler but easier easier so all together Myers wanted to charge me a hundred forty eight dollars fourteen cents because labor was a hundred eight dollars the parts was $28 but actually like I said the bushing at AutoZone because I got one at, from AutoZone was only $10 and something see they they like charging double double the price these these companies like charging double so I ended up getting help and got the the um, the um, let me pull this over here so you don't see the credit card information. I got help from my pastor, plus, I paid some as well. For the uh, control arm at the uh, Advanced Auto, which the control arm was $110.99. And then I had a garage, local garage, put it on for me. Again, I paid half of the labor, and another church paid half of the labor. So I didn't have to pay uh, kind of totally out of my own pocket. So I still have enough money to buy groceries. Because I have to buy groceries out of what we have left over. I don't go around from food, pa food pantry to food pantry to food pantry to food pantry to food pantry like a lot of people think I do. Anyhow, I'm still been hearing a lot of clunking noise. Not clunking, not it's not clunking, but rattling noise, rattling noise in the front of my van. And so I stopped into Monroe Muffler and got a quote on how much uh, struts would cost. Cause I'm not sure it's struts or not, but 
struts and uh, alignment and labor is going to come over $500. Again, they charge way more than somebody else does. Because a while back, I had some work done on my van at Monroe Muffler. And I had a lifetime warranty on the muffler. The muffler went bad. And to replace the muffler, they charged me $99 uh, labor. They charge me $99 for labor. $99 for labor. Again, I got an old address here. And I don't know, my dad's phone number, I don't know. You know, they got a lot of old information in their computer system. Even though I gave him my, you know, I don't know. Long story short, these companies, Monroe Muffler, Midas, they overcharge, they overcharge, they overcharge, they overcharge. But yet, they think we should go to them. I had, well, that muffler that they replaced for me um, back in um, oh, let me find the date on here so there is a date on here okay 3 30 15. That's when they replaced it. 3.30.15. Well, basically, my son noticed the pipe in between the muffler and the resurrector. Resurrector. Nah, the round pipe. The resurrector. Was broke off. So, eventually I took it to this guy here and had him look at it. And he only charged me $90 plus tax to replace the muffler with the labor. $90! $90, new muffler and labor. Where Monroe, Monroe Muffler charged me a hundred dollars just for labor to replace a free muffler. Sometimes I wonder, I think I actually paid for the muffler too. Well, like I said, I've been doing some uh, quoting on uh, struts, you know, just in case I might need new struts. That's how much they are at uh, AutoZone. So I was calling, also I called Midas yesterday. And a woman answered. And she started getting a little belligerent with me on the phone. But I was trying to explain to her. I had my van looked at last year. And they did not charge me. She said, well, if you're going to go, if you're going to come here and just have us look at us, look at your vehicle, inspect your vehicle, we're going to have to charge you now. I was trying to explain to her, I'm on a budget. I don't have the money to be really nearly spending it wherever everybody wants me to spend it. And, anyhow. Try to explain to her my situation, explain to her that they didn't charge me 
back when they expected my vehicle last year. She didn't, really didn't want to hear of it, so I just hung up on her. I told her she's not acting like a Christian. I hung up on her. And I filed a complaint with the Midas customer service about her. And when I was on the phone talking to somebody else, I got a phone call. It was her calling me back to tell me off again. I mean, actually, she was telling me off because I called a complaint on her. Mighty old dollar, the mighty old dollar, which is an idol. Really, when it comes right down to it, if that's all you think about is the mighty old dollar, then the dollar or money is your idol. It's your God. It's not my God. Yeah, we all need money in order to survive. Now, I'm surviving. That's all I'm doing. Surviving because there are not people out there that wants to love one another as they love themselves. So if you love yourself with all that money that you're making, then you should be loving somebody else with it. And I don't mean all oh, give it to charity. I mean actually helping somebody in need. That's what God expects of true God-fearing Christians. If you have some extra money and you see somebody in need, you're supposed to help them. Now, it's all oh, I gave to charity, or I'll pray for you. It's just a cop-out when it comes right down to it of not wanting to do what God wants you to do. That woman needs to be ashamed of herself for calling me back from Midas yesterday and griping me out for calling a complaint on her for the way she was. And she's like, oh, I was trying to explain to you that our policy changed. Whatever. You can change your policy. But I'll never be back there again. And I hope everybody else that watches this video does not go to Midas or any any Midas where they live at. Boycott Midas until they wake up and realize that uh, they need to start thinking about the people, not money. People are who they serve, not money. If they want to serve money, then they need to deal with corporate companies working on their vehicles instead of the general public. Because the general public is basically poor. Not everybody that's on says Curry makes over a thousand dollars a month. Uh, I've said enough. I gotta get off here. Got things to do, places to go. God bless you. Have a blessed day.